Hey guys, so this week's going to be a little different. I normally do book reviews on Friday, but today I'm doing it on a Tuesday. I have had a crazy week so far, and I'm going to have a crazy week the rest of the week. Tomorrow I have family coming, Thursday I have to spend all the day getting my computer to cooperate to teach my class Thursday, and then Friday I will either be with family or at a festival of sorts and will be gone all day. Then on Saturday it's fa more family and cleanup and preparing a lesson for Sunday. I'm just going to be substituting in primary class. So I am doing this for you guys early. This is something that I enjoy doing. This is a, kind of like a constant for me, something to look forward to in the week. And I guess family for me this week is to be the important thing. So today's book is Crossfire by Tracy Hunter Abramson. And this is in her Saint Squad series. I have it as book three here. Um, I don't think these books follow any particular order, but they do have events in them and characters in them that do things in um, I guess if you, I, I'm going to consider it a series because, like I said, they have different um, events and the characters do different things in them that I believe make it constitute as a series. So, um, but this one is about a, let me make sure I get this right, a CIA agent who is living in, let me find the Dominican Republic and she's been I'm just gonna say she's posing as a relation to these drug lords and then she somehow loses her contact. I won't go into detail about that, but her contact gets lost to her and they send in the seal. And the seal that they send in just happens to be a guy who she dated in high school and we're going to get married, and we'll leave it at that. I'll leave you on a cliffhanger. Um, but this is one where I love that Tracy Hunter Emerson has a thread of romance, and I've said this a million times. Romance does not overpower, need to overpower the story for me. If that does that, then it ruins it. But this is one where I feel that it is not overpowering, and that it has more adventure, more mystery in it. When um, it gets you thinking one way about something and then throws something new in, so you ah, and then it throws something new in, and you ah, and throws something new in. And it keeps changing until the end when I think it's in the second to last chapter, everything is revealed, and then they work it out in the end, and the last page is the end of things. So. That's why I love this book here. Um, I have bought the whole series here. Um, another thing that I like about these books <laughs> is that, and this author, is that she's a clean writer. And I've said that before. Um, both, I like books that have a good quality to them. And I feel doing these book reviews, that I am giving you guys safe books to read for your families that you would feel comfortable with telling grandma, oh here, I, I read this book, I think you'll like it, or your mom or your aunt or your daughter, niece, granddaughter, and you won't be worried about that. So, huh. just heard a weird little noise. Um, anyways, that's today's book review. I feel like I've been mumbling today, but I'm really excited because family coming that I haven't seen in forever. Um, and let me look at my calendar here. I think, well, i got to flip to into July. Here, so in, pull, down I go. And, ah, so next week. Next week's book review will also be early because I have family coming out the end of that week. So, stay tuned 
for the early part of next week for another Early Book Review Friday. Thanks guys for watching. If you want to see more of my randomness and me trying to find my way in life, then hit the subscribe button and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye guys!